one you saw we got it to turn over now we're just gonna kind of fine-tune up Felix right now is first off let's say hi Felix hi guys going backwards again yeah. but. so he has to take these forks off which you mentioned in the last episode the guy sent some other forks that are powdered I guess a little bit better than these ones were oh they're longer yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys oh see that matches that looks like that but not like not that, that or like that so Fortunately, now we gotta go backwards again and Try to get put the new forks on. Just wanna say, shout out to uh, Rockstyle UK. Oh yeah, Mr. Lee himself. These shirts us, actually fit really good, by the send way. Sending us some apparel. Gotta follow that guy. Give him a follow. Subscribe to him, Rockstyle UK. Right now, I think he's the only person I know of from England that's doing ruckus vlogs, working on his scooter, and then he also has this awesome escort. You gotta take a look at. Uh, for the most part today, what's our goals, Felix? The goal is to get this thing off of the table, on the floor, air ride functioning, half the battery box on this bad boy, and possibly, I don't want to jump the gun here, maybe get it to fire. Mm -hmm. Great. It's it's almost there, it's ready to it's, fire. It's really, it's really there, it's just it's just a little, a little thing right now that we kind of have to tidy up. And that's what's taking a lot of the time. So, I think two more. Two more visits on this bike, and I think it'll be done. So. It's being realistic. I'm trying. I like it. I like I'm it. Trying. So I think what I'll do now is probably work on the back half here, get the seat on with the brake light and everything hooked up, so that at least we can tell the back half working. is yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus we know it's working, and then the back half is basically all set. The only thing to work on is the air and run the wires for that because we know it turns over. All that's good. Yeah. Okay. Making some progress. So we have currently the seat is on with the flush mount tail light in. You can see. Oh. It'll be nice. I plugged it in. I'm sitting here like. How does it have no power? Plug that in. Now, let's see. You can see the running lights on. Left blinker. Right blinker. Brake light. So that's all done. Seats buttoned up. Felix already put the new forks on. He's flying through it. Right now he's just tightening everything up. And with the front axle, you never want to tighten it too tight because it's going to put pressure on the hub and it won't allow the wheel to spin freely. And you can see right there. Spins good. Spins good. So he's just got to, he's buttoning everything up. Got the headlight back on. Just going to lock tight a few things up. And then after that, we can probably put the front battery box half on, make sure everything fits good. And then Really get this air ride stuff dialed in next. I think that's just yeah, we gotta run this long switch. yeah. We, we still got some lines to run for it, so we just want to make sure that's all cleaned up before we put anything else on. So we'll probably do that before the battery box. But that's a little brief update for right now. Pretty soon we'll be able to get this thing off the lift. Maybe put some gas in it later and give her a quick fire up. We will see. So we got some good things happening. Of course, we got this all loomed up still. We're just waiting to tidy that up. We're in the switch for the air suspension. We have this all hooked up correctly now. Tank is holding pressure. Um, the front end's on. Felix still has to put the caliper on. We can see it's... How many other? There's so many wires for so many different things up here. It is crazy, but we still have it pretty clean because once uh, this is in the battery box and this goes to the lights, it's really just looking, looking like that. But with the ignition on now, 
We can. It's aired up all the way. Sit in frame. Yeah, it's only slow because it's not on. It's slow because it's not on, so. It's using whatever's in the tank, so that's what you want to say. It actually goes up faster. And right now it's aired up. So. Dropping it? No, that's raising it. You want me to drop it? Yeah. Woo! Go faster or yeah, faster. It's filling up a little quicker too. Hmm. And there you go. It's pretty cool. Still would have do it to my bike though. Yeah, it's aired up. The only thing that I don't like about air is if this line or anything was to go, this bike is gonna be sitting on the ground. And then you're stranded, you're stuck. So that's the only downside to it, but seats on, all the lights work in the back. I think Felix is just getting, he has to wire up the compressor right now. Yeah, I gotta run some uh, heat shrink on here, and we gotta run into the loom, ground this onto the chassis here nice and clean. And kind of redo a few little things, but now it's just to the point, this is where the tedious stuff takes the longest tighten everything up yeah so. and then we now that we have the hoses we know the hoses are all right we can yeah. like like this one here we could trim this we're up gonna trim we're gonna make it all clean up now and That's it. go from there it's coming along yeah and then so we just got front end tidy up this stuff run the this wire is going to go to a switch that's already in the battery box yep. and then we can get it off the stand so we're just yeah. Right now? Yeah. You got gas? Yeah, gas. Hey, let's try it. Sure. We're gonna try to get it to start now then. Look at that. Let's make it happen. Find out if you have any leaks too. Alexa? Plus. We're having a magical moment right now, Alexa. Now that there's gas in there. We just have to prime it so it fills up the bowl. It's gonna be making it a lot quicker. So then, usually it's probably the biggest mistake people make when they are doing their first GY swap. And they're used to the electric pump of the 49cc ruckus where it clicks and automatically pumps. So what we have to do is, I'll show you right now. I know you probably saw that in that Moto Nasty video. You give it CPR, but you can watch this fuel line right here. you will slowly start to see fuel. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, right now it's... I feel like I'm losing pressure. Yeah. I can see it. It's making its way into the fuel pump. Maybe I need more gas. I feel like there's air coming out of here somewhere. It's a new gasket. Hmm. Current issue. We thought we had one against the uh, powder. Powder always finds a way back. Every time. I'm taking a shot. So. I'm going back to drinking. What happened now is we're pressurizing the tank by blowing it, which you saw in that last clip. It makes it through the fuel filter into the fuel pump, but it's not making out of the fuel pump. So it should come up this line into the carburetor. They had took the whole fuel pump apart so that they could powder it and then reassemble it and diaphragm could be backwards, could be could be anything. So now we have to take the apart. Okay, now we have the fuel pump situation fixed with all the powder. Gives us a little bit of an issue, but we corrected that. So now it's time to prime it. So essentially with him blowing in it, you can see there's fuel in this line and then it needs to go throughout here into the carb. You should be able to see it come up this line here now with him blowing it, pressuring it, and you can see the fuel just went right up and in. So he gives it like one or two good blows, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna fill up that flow pole with gas, so this way you're not killing your battery by, it's probably good like yeah, that. This way you're not killing much. your battery by constantly cranking, cranking, and waiting for it to pull up through vacuum alone. Ooh, a little lightheaded. <laughs> see, you're supposed to blow, but Felix is sucking in, so. All right. So, 
Here we go, guys. Keys on. I got a program to fill things. That's oh, why it's that, not going to read. I'm, yeah. I'm over here looking at it like. So. Yeah, we had to check the slide on the carburetor, make sure the idle was low. Your mixture's good. I'm not gonna try that choke right now. Here we go. Justin the choke. We don't have any brakes, I didn't want to drop on the choke. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the brakes aren't hooked up. The lines are bled, so he doesn't want to put it on the choke where it's revving high. I have no choke now. Charging too, make sure it's Now is we have to we're gonna finish going through button up wiring, tighten up the hoses, everything like we were saying we were gonna do beforehand. We have to make sure that that battery is charging. Make sure the stator's putting back the bolts. When you put a bolt meter on it, it should be reading over 13 volts. When you give a gas, it should go, it should go a little bit higher. Or at least when you give a gas, it should go over 13 volts. Do we have so one? we're gonna make sure that's good. Oh, actually, this gauge has one. I forgot that actually has one. So we have to set it. We have to really set this thing. We're still in kilometers, that's why. Uh, let me see it here. So right now you can see, I forgot this Cosa had a voltmeter on it. Right? So 13.2 right now, I, when it's off, start it up. And if it gives it a little gas, it should go a little bit higher. That. The nice part about that COSO gauge is a built-in voltmeter. You just have to set it to it at the top. So 13.4 charging, we're good. Happy. It's been a long day, but I feel like we got the most accomplished today, even though it might not like look it, look it. The bike's running, it's charging. The electrical components are all good. We got the compressor, everything working. We just have to figure or finish that off with the gauge. But, I mean, it's, it's almost done. I think I think two more videos, and we'll be guaranteed two more videos, and I'll be on the road, like, running. We know it runs, because we still got to bleed the brakes. We got to get a couple extra longer bolts, because the powder's too thick for a couple parts still that we've, we've gone past. And, but I'll show you right now where we're at. See the bikes all together in the back here. See the seats. Seats on mounted. We cut the lines. We left them still a little loose, because you don't want it to be rubbing anywhere. Uh, battery box, the blinkers are in. I wired it up. See these come around. There's a little tab right here that it goes through. Comes around and I put it to a four pin clip. That matches up to this four pin clip right there. It makes it accessible. 
just green. Yeah, so then this way, once he takes off the battery box, he can pull it like this, and then there's not just directly connected wires. It makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. That's the only thing that's going to be holding him back, because he's going to have to unscrew that every time he wants to take his box off, the way that that's set up. I didn't wire that. That's how he gave it to us. Yeah. Um, the gauge here is what we have to tap into. These wires that light up the gauge, so it's blue with the red needle. That's going to go through. We have the backing plate right now covering up all the wires. We're going to take that back off. It didn't fit good because of the powder and everything painted, but it's on there right now. So you see we have the front half of the battery box on. It looks like a bike again, you know? Headlight, everything's working. We have to change a couple things with plumbing the brake lines once we finish that. The caliper bolt right now is currently what's holding us back from putting everything yeah, together. This is only because it's bracket, so whoever buy, whenever you do buy this, just keep in mind that you might have to go a little bit longer, maybe five millimeters longer. Yeah, five, um, ten mil will yeah, fit. That's all. Staying positive here. Yeah, and then um, we're gonna have to tap the frame to put the yeah that hooks in for the loom, so that that's gonna be nice. Holds it in place. Nice. Man, this looks so good. I'm yeah, excited for that. You guys saw the air suspension's working. It's probably gonna be a long video if you've watched all the way through. I appreciate it. I know it's gonna be a long video, but we got a lot covered. You yeah. got to see the bike run, and we so got, we got motivation. We just we got more. Uh, we're almost there, man. That's yeah. All. I'm just excited. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. The next video should be pretty interesting. I also have another video I'm putting out probably tomorrow or the next day that I'm gonna do with my bike because I spent like a couple months since I took it out. So I had to change the jetting and uh, tune it a little bit and I play with the variator, which you'll, you'll see. It'll be probably a day or two and I'll be out with that. Otherwise, it's coming along. I appreciate all the support you guys are leaving in the comments or loving the videos. Thanks again. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Trying to get that thousand followers, man. All right, have a good day, guys. Later, guys.